Welcome everyone to the presentation of our new Transcribus web app. Today I'm here together with my colleague Helene and we will present you the new Transcribus web, web app which we have been working on now for the past couple of months. And we are happy to present you the new interface that we will launch today on Transcribus. As you can see on my screen, uh, this is the new interface that you will also now be able to access on app.transcribus.eu. I am here logged in with my user. So if you have not done it yet, please register an account on Transcribus and log in with your user. You will then find the, this interface and I, we will walk you through uh, the concepts of the interface and how you can navigate through it. In first place, you will have a primary navigation which is uh, basically uh, the navigation you can use to navigate through the different workspaces in Transcribus. And there are, to start with, two workspaces for now. First, we have the desk, and then we have the models. My colleague Helene will then tell you more about the, the two different workspaces in detail. And we also have the jobs here. Jobs are basically server jobs that run on Transcribus servers. So when you start a text recognition, for instance, that is a task that the Transcribus server, servers handle for you that might take longer than just a few seconds. And that's why you can always um, view your jobs up here, open them with this account. I don't have any jobs yet, um, but once you have some, you can always check them out here. And then you also have your profile here. If you click on it, you can see your email address, um, the credit manager, which we'll have a look uh, in a second. You can edit your account and also modify the language of your in of the interface of Transcribus. And just having a quick look at the credit manager, it will look like that. Here you can see your personal credits as well as the subscription you're on. And over time, you can also check out the usage of, of the credits that you have used for text recognition, layout recognition, and other Transcribus jobs. But coming back to the homepage, um, on the homepage, uh, Helene will tell you more about it. But what is important to know first is that there is always a secondary navigation in every workspace. Here in the desk, we have, uh, as said, the homepage. Then we also have collections, tags, and a very uh, central piece is the search, which will help you to always navigate through Transcribus. You can always search all the text of your documents uh, with the global text search, but also search for collections and documents. So if you se select uh, the collection search, you can se select uh, or search for, for your collection, as well as for different document names that you have in your Transcribus cloud. Now I hand over to you, Helene to give us an insight in the new Transcribus desk. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Uh, it's looking really great. Um, so first we will have a look at the landing page. So when you log in, the desk and home is your landing page. From here, you have uh, direct access to collections and tags. You also see your first collection. And from here, you can also uh, upload files and use the quick text recognition. Moving to collections, open collections. You can access your existing collections of historical documents and add new collections as well by clicking create collection. Now let's open the first collection. You have one document already in your first collection and what we have improved here is that you can edit the metadata or name of your collection or document by simply clicking on edit. You see the metadata here. You can also edit it by clicking on those dots here and edit the name or metadata. To see the pages of your documents, you simply click on the document. And from here, as always, you can, the select, you can select the pages to use the automatic text recognition to simply click on recognize. This looks the same for now. Uh, in your document, what we have also added is a more prominent uh, status of your document. So the status is basically the status of your document. Is it just freshly uploaded? Have you already transcribed it? Is it ground truth? This I simply set status and then change it from here. For accessibility reasons, you can also filter 
by status to look for the documents if you just want in progress or just want ground truth. Um, then the next thing that we did is also change the customization. You can customize it, for example, by switching up the size of the pages. So you can make it bigger, have more pages visible or less pages visible here. And you can also switch from a grid view to a table or a list view of your documents. Then the next thing we'll have a look at is the tags. So we can also move from the desk to have a look at our task tags. The tag section gives you an overview of the tags in your collections where you can search for them. You can manage them here, also search for textual or structure tags, and also create new tags by clicking on create tag. The desk workspace is where users spend a lot of time. So it was important for us to really have elements that eliminate extra tasks and provide a better structure for you to transcribe your documents and uh, work with transcribers. So I think that's uh, uh, the overview over the desk workspace for now. Um, then let's move on to the models workspace. This is also a new workspace that we have added. And since training models is an important part of Transcribus, we really wanted to give it its own dedicated workspace. So when you open it, the models workspace provides a dashboard of your private models. There is no, none yet here, none here yet. There's none here yet, um, but as soon as you train one, they will appear here. Uh, you can start the first training by clicking on first training and uh, also train a new model by clicking on train new model. Here you can also see the options of the different, model, different models that you can train. The training process is uh, the same as Transcript was always had. The other new thing is when going on gallery, you will be able to see an overview of all the private as well as public models. And you will also be able to search for them and filter um, for the public models. I think that's uh, it from my side for now regarding the new workspaces desk and models. And I will hand over to my colleague Florian again. Thank you very much. I think that was a very, very good overview of the desk and the models in Transcribus. I said, this is only the beginning. So we will, or we are switching to this new web app as the first step towards the new Transcribus. Um, we will add more and more sections and workspaces here. And let's have a look to our beta section where you can already explore one of the new um, workspaces, which is Transcribus sites and give you a quick overview of that. There I'm in the beta now. And what you can see here, there are already more workspaces up in the primary navigation. As you know, the desk and the models are here the same, but what is new here is Transcribus Sites. And Transcribus Sites is a uh, tool that we are very proud of. Um, this uh, tiny little tool will give you the option to share your uh, valuable work with the world. So basically what you can do with Transcribus Sites is set up your own Transcribus uh, website where you can share the material that you've been working on um, over hours and hours and maybe also night shifts that you've put in to the, the documents and share it with everyone on a searchable website. Um, we will walk you through the process in a separate video. Um, but if you check out our, our beta, you can set up your own transcribal site with your collection and test it out, see how it works and enjoy how sharing the material is a very um, yeah, unique process uh, to giving access to your sources, which is not a very uh, common task these days, which we hope that many of you will do and share that yeah, valuable sources that not many people unfortunately have access or easy access to. And with transcribal sites, you can do that now. You will also uh, find Transcribus Learn, which is also a uh, nice little tool to learn how to read old handwritings. Um, there are different exercises, exercises that you can try out um, where you can learn to read, uh, for instance, old German current or other different script types. What we will also add uh, in the coming months and probably next year is Transcribus Connect. And we are very excited about this. 
Um, this will be a workspace where you can connect with like-minded people, like-minded people, and and others that are working on the very same topics as you are. Um, there are some. Um, we are aware of that, that there are some niches in research that not many people worldwide worldwide are working in. But still, we want to give you the opportunity to to kind of connect with exactly those people and having an opportunity to exchange about the very specifics of your material and the research questions that you're facing in your day-to-day -day work. And with Transcribers Connect, we can we can have, set up your own profiles and connect with exactly those people that are sharing uh, basically the same vision as you um, with the work that you're doing every day. So yes, I hope we gave you a good overview of the new Transcribus, what is already there with the new web app. But I said that that is only the first step. There will be more to it very soon. And we are very excited about this. So check it out. Let us know what you think. We're always very happy to, to receive your feedback. This tiny little button up here is very frequently used, which is great. This gives us the opportunity to listen to you and quickly integrate the feedback that you share with us into the development of Transcribus. So let's unlock history together. Thank you very much. Thank you.